Okay, resistivity. You'd be asked, you'll probably be asked the question about resistivity, okay? Now this here is a property of different materials, okay? Rho. Rho stands for resistivity. And it's the relative resistance of different materials. Now to make it uniform, um, we need to be considering a standard cross-sectional area and length in order to get a value for resistivity. So it's the resistance of a unit length, unit cross-sectional area of a material gives you its resistivity. So resistivity values tend to be very, 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 very low for conductors such as copper, okay? So a meter cubed piece of copper would have an extremely low resistivity. Now then, the units of resistivity are also straightforward. Um, we can see that rho is R, which is ohms, times area. Now cross-sectional area of a wire, or whatever it is, uh, is measured in meters squared. Area is meters squared, so it's meters squared divided by length. Now length is in meters, so the units for resistivity are ohm meters. Okay? So now we know our units for resistivity, which are ohm meters, we need to think about this in a typical problem. Okay? So a typical problem would be the length of a wire. So we could think about a length of wire. Now we can say our length of wire, obviously this is not to scale, we'll make it 1.5 kilometers. And we'll say that the diameter equals 3 millimeters. And that the resistance equals 8 ohms. And what we're going to do is, we're going to calculate the resistivity of this wire. Now, typically, the problems that arise with, with resistivity are to do with cross-sectional area of the wire. We've got a diameter, it's in millimetres, and it's working out, when we're using uh, rho as ra over l, it's working out our cross-sectional area. And my advice would always be to work out your cross-sectional area before you do anything else. And then you can just apply your numbers. So, if our diameter is 3 millimetres, the first thing I would do is work out my cross-sectional area A. So, my diameter was 3 millimetres. Now that means my radius is 1.5 millimetres, which is 1.5 times 10 to the minus 3 metres. So my radius is 1.5 times 10 to the minus 3 metres. So I would then say, well, my area equals pi r squared, which is pi times 1.5 times 10 to the minus 3 squared. And once I've worked that out, I'd write this down. So I would then work that out and say, 1.5 times 10 to the minus 3 squared times by pi equals, now that's 7 times 10 to the minus 6. So that equals 7 times 10 to the minus 6 meters. Now because it's area, it's meters squared. So we know that's the cross-sectional area of that wire. All right? And the most common problem in my experience is people not doing the area correctly. The next thing you would do to work out the resistivity, we know that rho equals Ra over L. So I would say, well, the resistance is 8. We've worked out A to be 7 times 10 to the minus 6. And the only other thing we need to worry about is the length, which is 1.5 kilometers, which is times 10 to the 3. And that equals, again, using our calculator, 7 times 10 to the minus 6 times 8 
divided by 1.5 times 10 to the 3 equals 3.7 times 10 to the minus 8 ohm meters. And that will tell us the resistivity of this particular material, which has got an incredibly low resistance. They could, in an exam, use the concept of resistivity in another context. So they could apply it in a series circuit, in a parallel circuit. Um, they could apply it in the case of you have to work out the resistance of a wire given its resistivity and then they might put several of those in parallel. But once you know, you can rearrange the equation and say, well, R is rho L over A. Once you're happy that you can do that, and you're able to work out the resistance of something given its resistivity, length and cross-sectional area, you would treat it just as a normal resistor. And then if it was in parallel, you would use your normal parallel resistance rules. Uh, and obviously, if it was in series, you'd use those also, where you just add the resistances. Um, but that's all there is to resistivity.